commit fornication here. You fall on someone's wife on Tuesday. You leave the room of fornication to work on Wednesday. Come to church on Sunday with your girlfriend. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we know church language. We grew up in church. We know the cliche. What is missing is headship. The son of man has no place. No place. No place to lay his head. And in any generation where he doesn't find a place, that generation falls into darkness. Suddenly witchcraft will become popular. Perversion will become the in thing. Laws will be made to protect perversion. Welcome to Apostles on Fire TV. Here you'll be getting powerful video clips that will steer you up for a glorious work with God. Enjoy the video. Thank you. This guy called Lucifer, he had musical instruments built into his framework. The Bible reveals that the workmanship of the tablets and the pipes were in him in the day that he was created. And if you know anything about music, because the pipe is a wind instrument and the tablet is a string instrument, and if you know anything about music, it's a combination of string and wind instruments. Your keyboard is, is a string instrument. Your flute is a wind instrument. The drum is a wind instrument. So that's what music is, a combination of string and wind instruments. And the Bible says concerning this fella that in his framework were the workmanships of tablets, the workmanship of pipes. So when Lucifer comes into the room and he, he, he descends, meanwhile, he's anointed. He's anointed. <laughs> when he comes to the room with his anointing, he can design God's mood. Then when he designs God's mood, he will create sound that is in the likeness of that mood. That's why I always have problems with people that play the keyboard. You must have noticed that. Went to, where, where did I go to? Manchester. And the man was, I said, you had, see, stop that. And I'm not very polite about it. You know, I told you, I'm from the wilderness. I'm not too refined. Stop now. In the name of Jesus, stop. <laughs> because he was not playing from the room. You are supposed to be an anointed one to be able to discern God's mood before you now create the sound. And if you create the proper sound, it will blend with what is going on. Like this one is a proper sound. It's blended. <laughs> so that was how valuable Lucifer was. He was the one that could lighten up the presence of God. And so, in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12, the prophet tells this prophetic story of a great tragedy in the eternities. Part of the problem, part of the issue for which, are you there? The same thing you are going to see here, which is the rebellion of Lucifer. Man also rebelled against God. But God brought redemption to man. Why didn't he bring redemption to angels? You must have asked such questions. Unfortunately for angels, they sinned in eternity. Eternity is a finished product. It's an eternal now. Changes don't take place there. Fortunately for us, we sinned where? In time. <laughs> so time had a window. Time had a wardrobe that God could come into and fix things before humankind arrives at eternity. That was why you could see the effort of God in time. So angels did not have the opportunity to know God as love. They know him as judgment and justice because they are in eternity. And by the time we move into eternity, you will see judgment, you will see justice. <laughs> are you there? That was why when the angel came to Cornelius' house, he couldn't preach the gospel because the gospel is a component of the manifestation of the love of God. He didn't know it. He doesn't know it. He doesn't know it. He doesn't understand it. That's not how God relates to them. If you have heard what I've told you, you will value your salvation. Yeah. How are thou falling from heaven? Oh, Lucifer, son of the morning, how are thou cast caught down to the ground which deeds weaken the nations? This is how, verse 13, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also 
upon the mount of the congregation in the signs of the north i will ascend above the heights of the clouds i will be like the most high the language spoken about here is a language of self i it was no longer about the lord if you see the the seraphs in the presence they covered their faces so that you will not see them they don't want to be seen the high self the high identity if you must see see the one that dwells in the light there was custom in the arena of the seraphs but this cherub had gone rogue it was now i i will have said i I will exalt my throne you see so he was a ranking angelic prince he had a throne not today we will need to talk about dominions before we talk about thrones before we talk about principalities and then powers so that you see the layer of heaven if you, if you can see the layer of heaven you can understand your office you will know which layer is in your office whether it's a demonic layer you think what is in your office are just laptops and computers you are wrong there's something unseen that is a power behind that office. I, to self. Self is that which is in contention with the Lordship of Jesus Christ. As long as self is in the room, Jesus has no place to lay his head. He has no place to lay his head. And that's why I need to ask you, has he found place in your life? He's still seeking in many nations. A place to lay his head in the parliament because he's no no there's no place in the parliament he comes to the marketplace looking for a place a businessman among us that will decide to run his business from the rest reference point of his headship comes to the marketplace he finds no place to lay his head to establish his government to place his headship finds no place then he begins to look for homes homes where he will be the center He'll be the circumference. He'll be the extent. He'll be the limit of reality, of truth, of possibility. He comes to look for homes. And then in America, checks this home. Number 44404, 44405. And the whole street, he has no place to lay his head. And so you begin to see the street looks like, it, it looks like something else. The civilization that is on the street looks like a creation of Lucifer. Because the Son of Man was not able to find a place over which he could exercise headship. Has he found a place in you? When he doesn't find a place in homes, then he begins to look for, for individuals. I was there in Manchester. We had a conference in Manchester. And we're rushing to go for the meeting. And there was hold up everywhere in the city. And I was wondering, what's going on? They said, no, there's a football match. The stadium, Etihad Stadium, it was packed full. There were people outside struggling, begging to enter. And Jesus was not in the center of their gathering. I can imagine Jesus passing by and he finds no place to lay his head. The disciple that came to Jesus was merely a mentor, but Jesus was merely a place to lay. A place to exercise his headship and that's why i couldn't from when i woke up yesterday till when we went to the airport took a flight two hours or something flight speaking in tongues trying to find the mind of christ came back speaking in tongues we had a little meeting we prayed in tongues i left that meeting went back to my praying in the spirit woke up early in the morning i wanted to know what the will of christ because it might be that he has changed this sermon He said, let anyone that preaches, preach as an oracle of God. It means you have learned God your mouth so that he can speak. That means you need to labor into the economy of his mind and know what is in his mind so that he's the one speaking to your vocal cord. Anything short of that, what you have is a synagogue of Satan. Because the son of man seeks a place to lay his head. If he has laid his head on your life, then it means you have a God. And when there's trouble, you can run to him and say, they, they seek to destroy me, O oh great monarch. Hey. Everyone I reported to Jesus did not survive it. Everyone. 
So it takes time before I report people because he is emotional about me. So emotional. So emotional. If I bring my issue, I, it's emotional. So I don't report people quickly until they put me on the edge for a long time. Then I say, this man, do you have a plan for him? <laughs> is he in your purpose? Is he in your agenda? It is when he is exercising his headship over you that you have a God. You have a stronghold. You have something to hold on to in the days of trouble. Because not every prayer of yours will be answered quickly. Sometimes God will allow you to go through the storm. If you don't have a personal relationship with him, the storm will make you feel life is hopeless. Whenever you see hope in the heart of a man that should be crying, it means he, he has a God. A man that is suffering, and other people look at him and say, oh, I pity you. But he's not pitying himself. That hope is because he knows that his Redeemer <laughs> So it doesn't matter what you throw at him. Satan can unleash hell. But when he rises up, instead of him to be talking about his situation, he's talking about his Redeemer. That kind of hope it's a function of the fact that you have a God and Jehovah has been able to lay the burden of his headship upon your life to exercise his government in you. Is it true that the life you are living today was prescribed by Jesus? If it's not, then, sorry, you are in violation. And I will show you 14 areas of violation that the Christians of our day live in and they are comfortable with. 14 areas. They are comfortable with. But you see, their life is a proof of the fact that Jesus has not yet found a place to lay. I remember those days when we went to university. We were hungry for God. So we began to gather. And then we began to pray. Began to pray. He began to direct us. Began to direct us. Began to direct us. We began to pray. He began to direct us. A, a time came. Ah, there was there's something in my spirit. Huh? Even without looking at the time. I just know it's prayer time. And when you look at it, it's, it's a time. Because the Holy Ghost will come and remind you. Because we're gathering unto him. We're gathering unto him. He likes our presence. So he reminds us that this is my own time. Do you still have a time that you are giving him? Do you have a time for him? A time that even if you are driving, you pack. I say, I've already given you this time. I cannot take it back. And right there, on the, you pack somewhere and you begin to walk on the main road and speak in tongues because this time is yours. Go to your Bible in the book of Acts. You are going to see that the disciples went to the temple at the hour of prayer. You have such an hour in your life where the only thing you do is to pray. Ah. You are not the only doctor. Oh, so I have a job. I'm in, I'm in healthcare. So you're the first person there. And in healthcare, we're taking care of the patients. We are doing patients. Stop. I was in the oil industry. I used to fast on the tanks. You know those tanks, those big tanks? This is used. This is used. To. Yes, yes. So I'm not telling you what you should not know. I was in the oil industry. We go offshore. Fasting. Fasting. I was doing my calculations. Fasting. Generating reports, fasting, data of all sorts, fasting, praying. You will find my, my tongue moving. They've called me names. They say I'm a warlock. I'm of darkness. Don't worry. Because I must give him his due. That's his due. Just like your rent. You have to pay it, your mortgage. If not, the repo guys will show up. He has no place to lay his head. He has no place to exercise his head. Christians all over the world are just loose. They have no God. No God. No God. In Africa, in Europe, everywhere. Loose. Loose. The people that serve the altars of darkness, they are restricted by the spirits they serve. They are not as loose as we are. Commit fornication here. You fall on someone's wife. On Tuesday, you leave the room on fornication to work on Wednesday. Come to church on Sunday with your girlfriend. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we know church language. We grew up in church. We know the cliche. What is missing is headship. The son of man has no place. No place. No place to lay his head. And in any generation where he doesn't find a place, that generation falls into darkness. Suddenly witchcraft will become popular. Perversion will become the in thing. Laws will be made to protect perversion because he has no place to lay his head we began to press into God we were novices we didn't know anything but 
he was happy that he was the center of our gathering we we'll speak in tongues for about one, two hours before anybody takes a prayer point. Because the prayer point must be inspired. The direction of that prayer must be inspired. It must come from the heart of God. A time came, great power was given to us, novices. Oh my God, I know, I remember. People from the town in which our university was situated would come and say there is an altar of darkness in our neighborhood. And we heard that you guys prayed. We went there, demolished altars, ancient altars, all kinds of stuff. We did all kinds of things. Those were the days I'm talking about 1999. That was the first time we prayed for someone that was HIV positive. He went for test, he became negative. He went to another lab, became negative. Went to another lab, he was negative. Hey, because we're looking small, like small kids, small kids, praying in tongues. We heard him and we were praying. Jesus. He was healed. We didn't know what we were doing, but he got healed. At least we know healing. was alive in our midst and satan saw the potential that would rise out of this our commitment to jesus and he released strife the strife was intense we lost that revival from that day i said it in my heart i will labor among all nations to ensure the restoration of the headship of christ that's where the power is the son of man has no place to lay his head a lot of people play church they just know what it is okay, okay now we finish opening prayers um praise and worship they'll sing a few songs um i pray they sing good songs today ah, he's seeing things in the natural he does know that we are come unto Messiah. people are looking for where to pray now you went and bought a television the, the screen is so massive jesus <laughs> so massive you needed help to to install it and that's the destruction the distraction that you are buying, paying for distraction so that you will not give god his due and I'm, i don't have any problems with televisions i they, they installed one in my house the other day the, the only problem is i'm not sit i don't sit before it for any i don't know what i'm looking for the the last time i checked it was what was going on that day some i just wanted to update myself about issues concerning the u.s election hallelujah so i and I now went to Fox. <laughs> I was told that that was a good one. So I went there. I went there. So, okay. Because I know another one. They just lie. They just lie. They just lie. And if you have the gift of discernment also, you say, oh, what? May the Lord, may the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. He said, the ass know it is owner. The ox is master's creed. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. He said, ah, oh sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, children that are corruptors. This, this is an obituary. The purity of their civilization was, was fading away because there was prosperity there. They said, oh, oh, oh my God, we are good. He said, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole heart, the whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint from the sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores that have not been closed neither bound bound up nor mollified with ointment injuries that cannot be cured troubles that cannot be salvaged all kinds of symptoms beginning to ma manifest but the prosperity blinds them that's to say okay we are still okay we can pay our bills i have four cars packed just got a master's degree uh, and being considered for a PhD. He said there are wounds that have not been cured. There are bruises that have not been modified with ointment. Those are the disasters that begin to eat up our civilization when we depart from the influence of his headship. And I've seen politicians, when it's time for election, they come, they, they kneel down before us. You see? Say, Pastor, we have come. Where are your children? We belong to you like this <coughs> especially when they know that you are streaming online ah. the moment you say may the lord have mercy on him they will, that video they will cut it and it will be playing everywhere on facebook and then people say ah so pastor endorse him oh at the polls 
he wins. That's the last day you will see him in church. It, when you even send him a text, say, the Lord needs your attention so that you can call him for a night VEG. He said he's in France. Meanwhile, he's at home. <laughs> he will answer through, through WhatsApp. I just arrived in France. He's at home. He needs the blessing of Jesus, but he doesn't like the headship of Jesus. He needs the prosperity of Jesus. He doesn't like the principles of Jesus. He needs the empowerment from Jesus. He doesn't like the government that Jesus exercises. And that was the reason for the obituary. And if you keep reading downwards, you begin to see all the symptoms of the obituary. Departures, afflictions, bondages of all sorts, of all kinds. Then in verse 9, it now shows God now knew that that generation had decided to team up with the devil against his government. He released the strategy of, of, of preservation, except the Lord of hosts has left unto us a very small remnant. We would have been as Sodom. We would have been like unto Gomorrah. The entire nation would have been wiped out without a trace. But there was a small remnant. A small remnant in the land that decided to dance to the beat of a different drummer. A small remnant that pledged their allegiance to a different flag. A small remnant. Many times the salvation of a nation comes from a small remnant. A new breed without greed. A radical opposition against unrighteousness. Men that honor the Lord. Men that hate sin. Men that are willing to pay the price to carry his glory. Oh my God. It's time for revival in the United States of America. And that's why the election of this year is the most critical election in the entire history of the United States of America. Satan will fight for this window so that he can, he can close the window completely. When you get back home, look for every day, every day, pray that the Lord's hand will be manifested in this election. It's so critical that God had to take me away from my city to join with the intercessors in the territory, in the land, in the nation. I don't leave my city. My city, I like my city. Jesus Christ, I like my city. It will take only the hand of God that can move me away from my city. I should join the intercessors, join the laborers. Let's raise a voice in the land that will secure the stakes of God. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 1. He said, Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool where is the house that he built unto me and where is the place of my rest as long as he finds where to exercise headship he will rest because his purposes will be will, will prosper but if he doesn't find a place to exercise headship he's seeking he's still wandering in the wilderness looking for a place looking for a place many of you standing here today in your dreams you see you see what God wants to do to you. Your life is a total, total, in total disparity from the things you see in your dreams. Because you have not allowed him to exercise his authority. You have not allowed him enough. Many of us say, Lord, you can do anything you want, but my money is my own. You don't understand government. You don't understand it. He will bring his touchlight and begin to prescribe to you how to spend money. In the eyes of God, we don't know how to live. So he decided that a measure of his spirit will reside inside of you to teach you how to respond every day because we don't know how to live. If the Holy Ghost is not powerful in your vessel, God will not be powerful in your life. If his authority is not acknowledged, the Holy Spirit speaks, you know he's speaking, but you don't consider him worthy enough to be obeyed. He will never be powerful in your life. You may be called to be an evangelist like Reinhard Bonke. You will never become an evangelist. Because if God cannot exercise his authority over your life, he cannot fulfill his divine purpose through your vessel. Cannot. 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 There are many days when he will come to your room and he will detain you. By the time he releases you, it's 18 hours of prayer. You don't even have the opportunity to go out again because it's, it's night. I've been in detention for some time now. <laughs> Woo! So there's a difference between lonely and alone. Lonely is emotional. 
but you can be alone if you know Jesus you will not be lonely if you want to help me lock me in a room come back after three days you will see my eyes shining I found him I found him I found him I found him I found Jesus he's looking for where to lay his head oh my god if you give him half a chance he will show you great and mighty things that you know nothing of today in the prayer before we depart you want to say by a so solemn decree Lord lay your head on me that I might hear the sound of your government that I might experience the power of your spirit I will do business with you I no longer want to walk on the sidewalks on, on the periphery I want to dive into your reality oh my god Invite him. Put your government over me. I don't want to be a waste man. Hey. Yeah. Subalamo. Sign in the Sign in the Oh. Yeah. Sunia ni amama mama. Sunia ni asando lede. He seeks a place to lay his head. We don't give him half a chance to so exercise the government over your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, la 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 la
do well to subscribe like share the video to your loved ones so they can receive what god is doing from this platform you can also follow us on all our social media platforms we are on instagram we are on facebook and we are on twitter thank you <laughs>